Hi there you guys! Halloween is coming, that is why I'm coming with this tutorial for a ring and I also have a similar tutorial for earrings and I'll link it here at the eye icon so you could make yourself a beautiful set. So if you like what I'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make beaded jewelry usually two times a week and you will be inspired often in your beading journey. So you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is and you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my social networks that you will find down there in description and in description you will also find a full list of materials, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, links where you could buy supplies from and also a link to my second channel that you could also look at and subscribe if you like it. So thank you so much for watching, now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of Delica beads, white and black for our skull that we are doing and here I use a fire line that is 0.005 inches with 0.12 millimeters, you could use 0.15 millimeters and 0.06 inches or other beading thread of your choice that you like. And here I use size 11 tulip needle and these two by the way are from the starter kit that I showed an unboxing video of and I'll link to this kit down there in description where you could buy supplies from and here I'm using this pattern uh, that I did myself and by the way I have a tutorial on how to make your own beading pattern and I'll also link it here at the eye icon to see and you will see this pattern I will be showing you from time to time this pattern and you will see it here at the left corner so you will be able to have a look at it at all the time. And now guys I'm going to put about 4 feet of thread on my needle which is 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm going to start making my work with brick stitch. As I showed you with the earrings that I also linked at the right corner you will need a pattern and uh, with this pattern you will be able to count how many beads you have in each row. Maybe here it's not really visible the black ones but I'm going to tell you the numbers. Here you're going to need you're going to need to start with six black beads okay and I'll show you how I'm picking them up. I'm picking them up by first taking two beads of these black beads. The first row will be the most difficult row but it's not very bad, you will see. Okay, so I'm sliding those two beads down. I'm showing slowly for those of you that are not familiar with the brick stitch. Okay, and here I want to make a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made, and I pull, and then I make one more knot to be sure that it's all tight and secure. Okay, and now I have this and what I want to do is make those beads stay next to each other with the sides next to each other and the holes po pointing outwards. Okay, and in order to do this I'm going several times around them. Like this. Okay, and here you see the holes are from this side and they are connected side to side. Okay, I have my first two beads and I'm going to add four more beads. One, going back through this one and then one more time through the newly added. Okay, just like that. One more going back here like this and back again these are four beads in a row I'm taking fifth one go through the previous and go back through the one that I just added and one more Okay, going back here 
one more time and one more time because I want to exit here out of this edge okay of the end bit okay now I have six beads in a row and I'm going to flip my work in this direction and then it comes my pattern and for my pattern uh, here what I need to add are two black beads three white beads and two black beads okay so now when I make brick stitch I start always with two beads okay I say take two black beads because this is what is coming and you will see it also here I'm going through the very first thread bridge of my work okay between those beads that I added next to each other I have thread bridges and I'm going through the first one I will use them to add the next rows okay and I'm attaching those beads in this way but after I attach them I'm going through the one that is closer to my needle and to my thread and I'm pulling okay and only here for the second row I will make an additional reinforcement and I will go back here through this one and through the second one one more time okay now I have this now what comes according to my pattern are three white beads and I'm going to take one white bead pull it like this one more white bead pull it go back third white bead I'm going through the following thread bridge and back through the bead that I'm exiting out of. Now I need two more black beads to finish this row and with this one I'm going through the following thread bridge okay and one more time through this one and I'm finishing this row with one more black bead and I'm going with it through the same thread bridge that I'm exiting out of and back through this same bead okay so now guys I have this and I prefer to flip my work in order to start my next row okay guys and now I will continue with the next row which is one black six whites one black and I'm starting with black and a white I'm always starting with two beads each row and I'm going through the very first thread bridge here while I'm expanding my work I will be going always through the very first thread bridge and when I decrease my work I will show you later I will be starting from the second I will be going under the second thread bridge okay now I will show you faster I need six white beads Okay guys so now I'm here at the last bit that I'm adding and I'm adding it by going under the last thread bridge that I have here okay like this and I go back okay like this and I flip my work 
Okay guys, and what I need for my next row is one black, seven whites and one black. Okay, and I'm going to take a black and a white going through the first thread bridge. And then I'm going to show you faster the steps after this. Okay, and I have this row ready and I'm going to show you the next row which consists of a black, a white, two blacks, two whites, two blacks, a white and a black. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, this row is ready. I'm flipping my work and I'm starting my next row which consists of black, white, three blacks, one white, three blacks, one white and one black. Uh, I will show you all the rows one by one as they grow so don't worry even if you don't uh, couldn't uh, see how many black beads are in the pattern you will be able to do this so i'll do my next row and i'll be here it is starting my next one okay in this row is also ready you can pause on it and do this if you could if you weren't able to do this okay and now i will flip my work and i will start my next row but but as you may see this is uh, the widest row in my work and from here on I will start decreasing and I will show you the process how I decrease first in my work I should pick up two black beads and when I take them as I told you before I will go through the second thread bridge not through the first one as I was going all the time but I'm going through the second thread bridge of my work okay and I have those beads staying in an odd shape but I'm going to fix them by going around through one of them and then I'm going through the other one in this direction and again what I do is that I go back here okay so I have my first beads attached here then what I need to take according to my pattern are three white beads and everything else guys is the same. So I'm going to show you this row faster because you're already familiar with the other steps. Okay, my row is almost ready and I'm adding here my last bead. And you see I'm not adding one more bead under this last thread bridge here. I'm stopping up to the last thread bridge. This is the other difference. And I'm going to flip and I'll show you one more time how I'm starting this decreasing process. Okay, now I'm up to here and I need two black beads, two white three black two white and two black and i'm going to start with my two black beads okay i'm taking them i'm going through the second thread bridge here not through this one 
but through the one between the black and the white. Then I'm going to go back through those beads like I showed you before twice. Okay, now I have this. And I'm going to continue faster. Okay guys, now I have these two blacks, two whites, two blacks, two whites and two blacks. And I'm going to show you uh, next rows really fast. I will just make them and stop so you will be able to do them. This row is ready. Pause and do this. I'll do my next row. This row is also ready. Pause and do this. I'll do the next one. Okay, another row is ready. Flip, do the next one. Row is ready and I'm going to flip my work and I'm going to start my next row which will consist of five black beads and this will be the last one. And here I am guys where I'm adding the last bead from my work. Okay, and now my goal will be to reach here. Okay guys, and what I'm going to take here are two black beads and as I'm exiting from this bead, I'm going back in circle through the same bead. I'm exiting out of, now I have this. Then what I do is that I go here through one of those black beads, then through the other one, I take just one white bead and I go back through this black okay then i take one more white and i go in this direction now i have this from here on i will start making my ring band okay i'm taking two black beads and going back through this black then again through this black one and through this one okay this is the so-called herringbone stitch now i'm going to take two white beads and i'm going back through this black then again like if you're familiar with the herringbone this is what i'm doing back through these two beads okay if you're not familiar just continue following the steps and again two beads two black beads and i will alternate until the end of this row two black rows and one white row Okay, and when I feel that my ring band is long enough to wrap it around my finger, I'll be back and show you how to do this. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to connect this side to this side. Okay, I will fold my work like this. You see, and as I'm exiting from this black bead, I will go through this bead that's sticking out the most, like this. 
then I will go here through the next black one. Okay. In this way I'm connecting, but I need to add the two white beads that I have from the other side. So I will go one more time through here, take one white bead, go back here through this one that's sticking out, like this, then take the other one, the other white, and go in this direction. Okay, and now guys, I have my ring band ready. Okay, now what I want to do is make a final knot and cut my thread. And you could do it here at the ring band or you could do it uh, here at the main work, it doesn't matter. Now I'll show you how I'm doing it here. Okay, so I'm making here a loop, I'm going once. And I'm going second time through the same loop that I've made. Then I could repeat this knot several more times just to be sure that it's all tight and secure. And when I'm ready, I will take my scissors and cut my thread. Okay, guys, and now my Halloween ring is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I have matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done like I did the earrings and now I'm doing the ring and I'm linking them here at the eye icon to see. And that is why it's a good idea to also hit the bell. And down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, link to all my social networks, link to PayPal for donations to develop this channel, and also a link to my second channel that you could check out. And if you like, also subscribe there. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween, guys. Bye bye.